I had over 80 pairs of shoes at one point in a jam-packed closet. Hi friend, I'm Becky and welcome back to Conscious Flow Living. Today I'm going to share with you the five steps that I took to get rid of over 80% of my clothes, why I decided to minimize my closet, and the surprising benefits that I've experienced so far. I was previously a shopaholic. I used to buy clothes all the time that I didn't need and even worse that I never ended up using. I realized recently that I used to buy clothes as a way to fill a void, probably from a lack of self-confidence, from years of battling an eating disorder when I was younger. No matter how many shoes or outfits I bought, I never felt like I had enough. I always wanted to have the next best thing. I always thought maybe this shirt will be the one that makes me feel confident in my clothes. Or this outfit is the answer and it'll make me look and feel amazing. Well, spoiler alert, it was unsuccessful. I had over 80 pairs of shoes at one point in a jam-packed closet and have had a jam-packed closet for as long as I can remember. And I probably only wore a handful of those outfits and shoes regularly. Here are some photos of my closets throughout the years that I found on my phone. I was always trying to find creative storage solutions to hold my ever-expanding wardrobe. More drawers, more bins, more hangers, bigger closets. It was never enough. My closets always looked like they were going to burst, yet I never felt like I had anything to wear. Here's what my current closet looked like just four months ago. Believe it or not, this is after I had already gotten rid of a ton of items during the pandemic when we were all deep cleaning and purging all the things. Okay, so why did I finally decide to majorly declutter my wardrobe? Well, before decluttering, I noticed that I was starting my days in a bad mood quite regularly for no apparent reason. During a few intense guided meditations, I was able to pinpoint my frustration and decreased mood in the morning to clutter, specifically my closet. I realized that every morning I would walk into this closet that was bursting with clothes, but I always felt like nothing fit right or like I had nothing to wear. And that ended up making me feel pretty bad about myself. So I ended up just throwing on workout clothes pretty much daily, which I could do because I'm self-employed and I work from home, but that just resulted in me feeling worse about myself and kind of frumpy and never really put together and I wasn't able to show up with my normal confidence. I had no idea the emotional effects that all this clutter and stuff was having on my everyday life. So I decided to listen to my intuition and get rid of it all and purging my closet was actually the first thing that I did on my minimalist journey. I did a ton of research before starting my closet declutter. I watched a million YouTube videos just like this one. I saved capsule wardrobe ideas on Pinterest and then I thought about what types of clothes really made me feel my best. I ultimately decided that I wanted to get down to a 10 item wardrobe and I'm not quite there yet, but I am definitely well on my way. Then it was time to declutter. I pulled only the things from my closet that made me feel my absolute best. I picked out things that were comfortable, fit well, and matched my current style. I'm mostly drawn to naturals and neutral tones, so I mostly kept more basic and neutral items that could easily mix and match with many outfit variations. I didn't pick really brightly colored pieces, tons of shirts with words, or a lot of graphic tees that would be hard to mix and match with multiple outfits and to outfit repeat regularly. I did keep, I think, maybe two graphic tees or tees with words on it that are pretty simple and would be easy to mix and match with outfits. Next, I laid out everything that I wanted to keep onto my bed. I double checked that everything went well together, tried everything on to make sure that I felt great in every single piece, and then I just took note of any gaps that I had in my new capsule wardrobe. I looked at what was missing and then I checked if my current wardrobe could fulfill those needs or if there was anything that maybe I still needed to get. I really tried to shop for my current closet to build my new capsule wardrobe instead of purchasing even more items. But I did notice a few gaps. For example, I did end up buying a new pair of black jeans that fit me better just to tie all my outfits together because the black pair of jeans that I previously had didn't fit anymore and it really wasn't comfortable so I wasn't going to end up wearing those. But it is something that I used to wear regularly so that's how I knew that it was a gap and it was something worth me investing in purchasing another pair of because I wanted to continue feeling like myself in this new wardrobe. Okay, so this is where people seem to have a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to capsule wardrobes, and that's regarding weight fluctuation. For me personally, I had just undergone four months of really intense Lyme disease and mold treatment before decluttering my closet, which caused me to gain a bunch of weight suddenly, 
and to hold on to a lot of inflammation. Now I would love to say that I've just totally accepted my new body for what it is and that I'm just going to throw away all my smaller clothes, but I know that this isn't my body set point because I'm really in tune with my body and I am very much used to my regular weight fluctuation. But yeah, even after having two kiddos, my weight is usually less than it is right now and I still feel really swollen from my treatment. So I did end up deciding to keep some of my smaller clothes just in case my weight drops so that I don't have to go out and buy an entire new wardrobe because sustainability is also really important to me. So I ended up keeping only my absolute favorite items of clothing that were too small that I absolutely loved and that fit me recently. But I pulled them all out of my closet and out of my dresser and I packed them away into bins so that they're completely out of sight. This was a critical decision that I made that I think has had a major improvement on my mental health and my mood in the morning. I no longer look at clothes daily that don't fit me or that make me feel bad or some kind of way about my current body. I honestly haven't thought about the fact that they are in those bins once since I put them away. I will just use them to shop from if and when my body releases this inflammation. But for now, they are out of sight and out of mind. Okay, so after laying out my capsule wardrobe on my bed, putting aside my favorite outfits in different sizes that don't currently fit, then I got rid of everything that was left in my closet. I took one last final look at everything just to make sure that I wasn't donating something that was an absolute favorite, and then I donated it all. I'm not gonna lie, I was totally scared at first, but I can honestly say there isn't one item I've missed, and my life has only improved since making this change. Now everything I have in my closet is an option. It all fits me. I love everything, and I only have positive feelings when I come in here first thing in the morning to get dressed. I also have noticed that I look put together the majority of the time as opposed to almost never before. The positive effects from decluttering my closet have been so impactful that I am already wanting to minimize my closet even more. I'm just waiting for it to warm up a bit so I can see which warm weather clothes I do and don't wear and then I'll do a second big declutter. Overall, after living four months with a minimal capsule wardrobe, I can say with certainty that it was the best decision. I've never owned this few items of clothing and it feels really good. It's already allowing me to be less stressed and to show up as a happier and more present mama. Plus doing laundry and keeping my clothes organized and tidy is a breeze now. I can't wait to see the long-term impact that this is gonna have on me and my girls. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a full capsule wardrobe tour with try-ons of all my outfits to show you all the clothes that I own and how I mix and match different outfits and kind of outfit repeat without wearing the exact same thing every single day. I can also show you the few items that I have in my dresser, including a few workout outfits, a pair of sweats, my pajamas, and a few accessory pieces. I hope that this video has inspired you to live more intentionally, to be happier with less, and to maybe even create your own capsule wardrobe. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future content. I put out videos weekly on intentional living, minimalism, non-toxic living, and more. Also come hang out with me over on Instagram at Conscious Flow Living, where I share more healthy living tips and tricks, and a little behind the scenes into my conscious life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh. I can't feel my feet. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> I hope that this video has... Nailed it.